like to say on behalf of the Harbor College Transfer Center, we appreciate all of you for joining us, whether you're joining us on Zoom or Instagram TV. We're very happy and pleased that so many students have been receptive to TransferCon 2020. So this workshop is called How to Become a Transfer Hero. And in this workshop, you will be learning just some very brief tips, keeping it fun. Our theme this year for TransferCon was Transfer Heroes. And I truly believe that um, all of you have a hero inside of you on your own journey, okay? So we'll get started. So the agenda, who is a transfer hero? We'll also be discussing transfer heroes we know and love, transfer hero tools, transfer hero tips, and transfer hero success. So let's get started. So who is a transfer hero? A transfer hero is a student who calls upon their inner strength and power to fulfill their transfer destiny. So that means you, you going above and beyond, you know, not just coming for classes, but you're taking time out of your day, your very busy day to sit and learn about transfer at TransferCon. Give yourself a pat on the back because you are going the extra mile to learn what it is that you need in order to get to that university of your dreams. So some transfer heroes we know and love. We have Ms. Saweetie. I don't know if any of our students are familiar with her. I'm sure some are. So she is actually a transfer student who transferred from San Diego State to USC. So she wasn't a community college transfer student, but she experienced a lot of similar feelings like a transfer student when you start about midway through your college career at a new university that's really big different and you have all of these different feelings associated with that because you're achieving your dreams, but this is a new big journey, right? So she experienced that just like a lot of you will be experiencing too. The thing is, the best thing you could do for yourself is maintain your confidence, okay? Um, she ended up graduating very successfully with honors, I believe, from USC and now she is a very rich and famous musical talent. Um, we also have Jackie Robinson, who is a transfer student from Pasadena College to um, UCLA, and a lot of you know him for his, um, his talent in baseball, for breaking color barriers, um, for being a legendary Dodger, and of course, um, he's gone down in history for the amazing accomplishments that he, he achieved in his dreams, and I hope that... Um, you someday if you you know want a career in sports or want to do all of these big things i hope that you know that harbor college is a perfect place to start for you um next we have george lucas george lucas george lucas attended moore park college which is in the valley area he transferred from there to usc also and uh, a lot of you might know him for the star wars movies um movies that have shaped culture and inspired people for space travel. Um, they've just done so many things, taught people life lessons. They're very special movies that a lot of people hold near and dear to their heart. And he was a transfer student just like you from a community college. And he was able to achieve so much as well by also not giving up on his dreams. Lastly, we have Eileen Collins, who is a transfer student as well. And she is also a former NASA astronaut um, you can see, you know, people go into different areas from community college. Some start off and they want to go into entertainment and movies, maybe sports, maybe STEM, right? NASA someday. And any of those goals are so, so worth it to keep going for. And we hope that, you know, you feel that support from us at our college. So some transfer hero tools that I love for my students to start looking into. We have assist.org, UC Transfer Admission Planner, the Associate Degree for Transfer, and the Grad Guru app. So a lot of these tools, I don't want to overwhelm you and start throwing out a bunch of information and it becomes information overload, but I do want to share assist.org. That's where you go if you're interested in transferring to public universities. So UCs and Cal States, you're able to start looking up the major requirements to transfer to, from Harbor College to Cal State Long Beach to Dominguez Hills, right? They give you equivalencies between classes at Harbor College and those campuses. 
So you're able to go ahead and go on the websites for Long Beach, Dominguez, right? You look up what classes that you need to get the bachelor's degree and you can cross reference on assist.org to help you. Now, do I expect you to jump on your computer right now and be able to do that all by yourself? Absolutely not, because it's a lot. But when we make an appointment as your counselor, I will show you what I do when I help students review requirements on assist.org. Um, and I would love for you to join for a counseling appointment. I know that it gets really booked, but we are gonna have more drop-in offerings available for students as well um, to accommodate the influx of counseling like questions. We also have the UC Transformation Planner. So if you can Google UC Transformation Planner, that is a planner that you can use to create an account. You're able to log in and load in your classes every semester that you're taking. From there, when it's time to apply to UC, you're able to just log into that tab, Transformation Planner, and all of your classes what? that you've been inputting this entire time, they no, load into your UC applications. That way you don't have to put in all your classes by hand, one by one, yep. hours and hours into the night, the day before your application is due. We don't want that for you. So yep. if you're interested in yep. transferring to a UC, go ahead and make that UC Transfer Admission Planner account so you can get started with that. The next huh? thing we have are our okay. wonderful associate degrees for transfer. Now, if you're not familiar with an associate degree for transfer, they're also called ADTs, AAT, AST, Associate of Arts for Transfer, Associate of Science for Transfer. But what they are is they're the degree with the guarantee. So if you're interested in the degree with the guarantee and you have interest in a specific major, we can see what ADT works with you. A lot of my students love to go early childhood education for child development, psychology, business. My students who want to be engineers years, computer scientists, right? Most of those classes are physics and calculus. We have a math ADT and a physics ADT that overlap very nicely with the requirements to get into Cal State's and UCs for that. We have a history ADT, anthropology, many more and more to come. So definitely if you're thinking about um, getting a streamlined degree that guarantees you admission to a Cal State and a 0.1 GPA bump, definitely talk to a counselor about getting an ADT and they'll give you that information. And of course, we have our wonderful Grad Guru app. So if you don't have it on your phone yet, I definitely encourage you to download it today. It does not take up data on your phone, but what it does do is you download the app and you select LA Harbor College as your campus. So you just literally type in LA Harbor College. From there, you'll start getting notifications from Grad Guru. So every single department at Harbor programs in the notifications that we want students to get. So it's not just random stuff from an app. We'll put in there the first day to apply to Cal States, the last day to apply, same for UCs. We'll do when's the last day, first and last day to do UC tag, all the deadlines needed. We put those into the Grad Guru app. So that way you can just be on your phone and you'll get the notifications and it'll help give you reminders because there are so many deadlines to go through and so much to keep track of and we want to help make it as smooth for you as possible because we know you're also taking classes too. So download that Grad Guru app today and you will not regret it. It also doesn't take up memory on your phone and it doesn't use your data. The next thing, some transfer hero tips. So first and foremost, your professors are transfer heroes too, right? They're here to encourage you, to support you. They want you to succeed. Um, they have office hours, they have Canvas message, right? So right now that we're online, don't feel like you can't reach out to your instructor, okay? The office hours are there, so that way they have the time to discuss with you how you're doing in your class. If you have questions and you need them answered, what I used to do when I was a student, I used to write my notes, and when I was confused, I would circle something and say, ask professor this and that. I would go to my professor during office hours and I would say, you know, I was writing my notes and I got confused on this part. Can you please explain it? The professor was really nice, explained everything. And that was, you know, one of my professors at USC. So he had a lot of students, but the professors, they do care. They will assist you and, you know, help explain content in the class if it, you know, is unclear. And then also you have your online message system through Canvas and Canvas makes it so that way you are able to go in and send messages to your instructor. 
And not only do they appear in Canvas, but they also appear in the emails as notifications on your instructor site. So that way your instructor can literally write back and it goes back to you in Canvas, okay? Um, we also have transfer counseling. So transfer counseling is done technically by any counselor, right? I'm a counselor at the transfer center, um, but we, we help our students with course planning, application support, and special events, right? So what that means, let's say I have a student who wants to do computer science and they just need help, they need guidance, direction, we'll go ahead and look at what the requirements are. It's usually a combination of calculus, physics, some Java, C++, right? Discrete structure, stuff like that. So we'll plan all the classes that you need over the next two years, sprinkle in the general education that you need, right? So that way you know what classes you need to take over time in order to get admitted to university. We also develop a transfer timeline in your ed plan too. So that way you know, okay, my last year, I'm applying October 1st through November 30th to Cal State and November 1st to November 30th to UCs. We do the same thing. I had a student a couple weeks ago that wanted UCs, Cal States, USC, and another private university for a very specific major. So we sat, we did all of the planning. We looked at all the requirements for all the schools, programmed them all into the ed plan. And the student feels very comfortable now because they have that clear guideline to help. And not only that, but they know exactly when they need to apply for transfer, which is this fall. And then just a helpful tip, always know that when you feel like it is your last year at Harbor College, that's when you need to start applying to transfer. So if you want an ed plan with me, glad to do that for you. Um, and then also, of course, application support. So the transfer center, we review the applications with the student. We don't just tell you to apply and that's it. We will sit down, review everything with you. Um, that is done during appointments, during drop-in, during our workshops. During our workshops, we have them for the applications. And we go over from how to create an account for the, for the um, application, all the way to reviewing the application, making sure everything's correct, and then hitting the submit button, okay? So we do everything from A to Z to help our students make sure that they're getting those applications in and getting admitted. And then lastly, we have our special events. So this is an example of one of our special events, Transfer Con. Um, we put these on to encourage our students, help them understand transfer in a large group setting. Because if I were to try to do this for one appointment at a time, that would be a lot, right? So we get to use our platform, our Zoom, our Instagram TV to help our students um, get to see it all on a grand scale and learn together. And then we can put on these wonderful events we also do our open house. We do our transfer recognition ceremony. Um, last year we had it virtually for our students. Um, and you know, we really do try everything in our power to make things special for you, to make you feel and know that we appreciate our students on this campus and this is your campus. So we're here for you. Additionally, we have our tutoring in the library that includes NetTutor online, right? So that's normally available through can through um, your portal, through your student portal. And then um, last spring, the LRC, the library, they also had Zoom tutoring available. Um, and I'm hoping that they have it again this upcoming fall because um, they were doing Zoom tutoring appointments. And then of course we have our Instagram. So if you're on our IGTV right now and you're watching this, make sure you're following us too. Um, and then if you use Instagram and you're on Zoom right now with us, please follow us at LAHC Transfer Center. That is where we have information in our story, our IGTV, our highlights, and our news feed. So don't just go in our page and that's it. Check our story, check um, the IGTV because that's where we post all of our previous workshops so that we students can watch them. And I know you guys have been watching them. A lot of our workshops have over 100 views already on IGTV, so that must mean that there's a lot of helpful information in there for students. So I encourage you to watch those workshops. Uh, we have Transfer 101 on there. We have our Associate Degree for Transfer workshop on there. And we have our CSU application on workshop there, just to name a few to help you. And then also in our highlights, we have information on how to make an appointment. Um, Newsfeed, we post a lot of flyers and information there. And then we also have our YouTube channel, which includes pre, which includes pre workshops available for you to watch. 
Okay, and then we have Transfer Hero Success. So my recommendation for you is start researching a major or majors, right? Because some students, they have a number of interests and then campuses of interest, okay? So when you're a college student and you're applying from Harvard College to a university, you're not just applying to get into the university, you're applying to get into a specific major. When you're in high school, you're only applying to get into that university and you're gonna figure out your major once you get there, right? So that is why I encourage my students to start looking now at what major do I like? What campus offers that major? Or if you're really, if your heart is set on a specific campus, okay, I really love this campus, that's where I wanna go. What majors do they have there that I would like to study? From there, we'll look together at those major requirements and determine what classes you need so you can be admitted. And I also wanna encourage you to participate in the transfer programs and guarantees, because not a lot is guaranteed in life, but we have wonderful guarantee programs for our students to help them succeed. And that includes the associate degree for transfer. Uh, that's guaranteed admission to one Cal State, not necessarily your top choice, but at least one Cal State will admit you when you have the associate degree for transfer. We also have transfer admission guarantee for the UCs and we have participating UCs that do admit transfer students guaranteed as long as they follow the conditions, which vary by campus. So the campus is that Guarantee admission to community college students from to UCs include UC Davis, UC Irvine, UC Merced, UC Santa Cruz, UC Santa Barbara, and UC Riverside. And is that it? I think that's it. Sorry, I don't have the list in front of me. Um, but we do have also besides that, we have UCLA TAP, which is UCLA Transfer Alliance Program which is our honors program, right? So they give priority consideration to our honors students to be admitted into the UCLA College of Letters and Sciences. So definitely take a look at that if you are um, very much with your heart set on UCLA. I definitely encourage you to do that. And then we also have our wonderful CSU Dominguez Hills Transfer to Success program. So this program, any student who transfers from Harbor College to Dominguez, they get mentorship, career guidance, they get academic um, advising, guaranteed graduation in two years, VIP treatment, they have this launch pad center for students and a lounge. So you can eat your lunch there, you can talk to a counselor, you can you know, socialize with friends there that are also transfer students. So it's just a wonderful program and it helps you know, give you that connection to the campus that um, will help solidify your um, you know, feelings of belonging there that as a, you know, member of that campus community. So definitely take a look at that and ask a counselor if you have questions about any of these programs, okay? We'd love to go over them with you. And then of course, local consideration campuses. So we have local consideration with Cal State LA and CSUN. And let me tell you, to be local to Cal State LA and CSUN is really special because our students, they get local priority and they don't have to meet as strong of GPA requirements to get in because they're local to Cal State LA and CSUN. CSUN, when I went to their presentation, they told us that non-local students have to get like a 3.4 or higher to get into CSUN. But our students, they're much more fair with the GPA guidelines for admission to CSUN. So definitely take advantage of, you know, these different things out there to help make the transfer process smoother for you. And then of course, the Transfer Center is here to ensure your transfer success. So what that means is we take it very personally. Um, every student that comes to see us, we wanna make sure that we're doing what we can to help you succeed, everything we can to help you succeed and encouraging you along the way because transfer to transfer to a university, um, it's something that you know takes a lot of hard work. It is time consuming and it is so rewarding once you get to the university, once you get your bachelor's degree, because you worked for it every step of the way, starting when you were a student at Harbor College. And um, that is my hope for you is that you feel supported by us. <laughs> Last but not least, I would love to connect with all of you. Please follow us on Instagram at LAHC Transfer Center. And uh, when we're back on campus, I, I'm not sure when that will be, but when we are back, we're located in the SSA building, room 105, and our phone number, which the voicemail is checked every day, is 310-233-4282.